the last interview was crazy. The little J clips from the last interview, nuts, man. Uh, what was the aftermath of all those clips from your end? Did you hear from little J? Did anything happen? No, I ain't heard from him. He was just he just did a uh uh, uh what he just do? He did a live. I think he was sneak this and saying something, but I ain't really watch it all. But didn't you post it? You ain't post what he had was on there with his manager. Yeah, he was just saying, he was just saying some stuff. I don't know. It ain't really like, like what you gonna, <laughs> what you gonna say? That shit in audio and video. Yeah, I mean he's still denying it. <laughs> you know he didn't say you by name, but he did kind of sound like he was talking about you. You watched it. Oh, I his? watched. I watched most of it. Yeah. Yeah, he was just. I. 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 I don't know. I was watching some of it. He. He was just. I don't know, man. Niggas just be saying shit. Free him though, man. Get him away from them. You know them rainbows. Other than getting in the world, I don't know. What do you think about the trans woman who came out and said uh, he was been, been with her since like the eighth grade or something? Oh no. It did seem kind of wacky though, but oh no, bro. I it did seems say, like a man, long time to be He did he <laughs> had some crazy looking people used to come around sometimes, so I don't know. It might have been one of he them, Shim, whatever, and she him. He might have been one of them. I don't know. It seems like a long time for something like that to be going down and nobody know nothing. You know, it, it, it's kind of suspicious. Yeah, but you know, this is a crazy world, man. Sneaking and geeking, you don't know what the f*** going on. But you know, half of the shit come to the light. But I don't know, it it's was... true. I don't know, man. It was... It, it, I don't know, man. It's like DJU study fine and all of them, too, man. I don't know. How DJU study fine and all of them? They reaching out. I want to tell my story. Oh, no way he got going. That was the second one that he interviewed, right? Man, he may have some crazy shit on this page. He also had a video, a fight video came out where somebody hit him with a Glock Dookie and then he just annihilated the dude. Lil J? Yeah. Yeah. He beat the living Did life out of his it? ass. Yeah. He kicked his ass. That's what I'm saying, though. Niggas be, I mean, I ain't going to take, like I said, I'll never take his gangster, his, you know, his fighting, none of that from him. I ain't going to take that from him. But the other shit is something different. You know what I'm saying? But when it come to that gangster shit, like, niggas be like, he ain't PC. I don't believe he was in PC because he's scared. I believe he was in PC because he was freaky. So it was like, that was your attention to go back there for that reason. Because I don't, I, I don't see nobody just, Fine on Lil J and he just sitting there intercepting it. So you saw the video. Nigga did what he did. He hawked him. That's that he would have did that to anybody. You know what I'm saying? All these other niggas they be saying niggas be way smaller than the nigga he just beat. So what you think gonna happen? He gonna do the same shit. How you know like the the Glock Dookie thing, man, like how <laughs> common is that in jail? I ain't gonna lie, that's some Division Nine shit. I never been, personally, I never even saw no shit like that, bro. Me, I ain't never saw that shit. I, I heard of it back then. Like when I was in prison, I heard about it, but it always been some Division Nine, because Division Nine, them niggas be locked. They in a the cell with the chuck hole, you know what I'm saying? So a nigga be in there, they might go on lockdown, they might be on lockdown for hella long, and they squirt them up. First, it used to happen from like, Squirting the COs in they face with that shit. Now it's just, they getting wild with it. Yeah, yeah, Squirting man, that's a... Glock Dookie, spitting niggas' ass, all type of crazy. Chicago, Chicago crazy. You heard Rico Reckless. <laughs> they, they niggas crazy, man. But that's all like new shit. Like, 
I was in, listen, man. When I did my time in Chicago, I was in Division I, man, where Al Capone died at. He died in Division I. That's like the oldest part. Like the jail still, like your cell still got bars on them and everything. But they, they tore that part down. Like nine was some new shit, but nine is max, max. Like Division One was max too, but nine was worse. And niggas don't want to go to nine. You got to be ready. One cracking two, but nine, that's where everybody up there fighting murders. They fighting for their life. Niggas know they probably never coming home. So niggas up there tripping. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.